Okay, so we're gonna do Taylor Swift red look. It's classic Taylor Swift with a little bit of twist on the eyes. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the lid. Now with this look, there's very little eyeshadow. And <clears throat> what is there, I want a nice good pop from. So I am still gonna layer a cream and a powder on the lid. Um, but it's gonna be matte, no shimmer to it at all. It's kind of a classic Taylor Swift retro with a little bit of a modern twist to it. So whether you look exactly like Taylor Swift or not, it's just a matter, about, a matter of doing a clean eye, nice line on top, and then a matte red lip. And we're going to layer our lips so we get nice color and texture. So we're going to put matte beige cream first. Then I'm going to do a matte white on the lid. Then I'm going to do a matte beige on the brow bone because I want the lid to be lighter than the brow bone. I'm going to do a matte beige on the brow. It's a little darker than the lid. Then we just want a very subtle light taupe mid-tone because we don't want there to be much color there at all. We just want a tiny bit of definition using my number 11 brush, putting it right into that crease. And that is all the color we need on our lid. Now we're going to line and I'm going to first lay down a little bit of pencil. Now we want this to be really, really tight. Taylor does not wear a very thick eyeliner on top, but we want the drama. Actually, before I start with the pencil, I am going to push a little color into the lash line so we get the depth right up against the lashes. I'm going to look down for me with my brush number 41, just taking some black shadow. Going right in between the lashes. Now we're going to take a pencil, look down for me, just go right along that lash line. So keeping it really tight to the top lash line. We're going to take our 42, we're going to go over that with powder. Keeping it tight, but starting to create our shape. Because we just want to barely kick it out at the ends.
It's just a nice little kick. Nothing dramatic. This isn't Adele. It's Taylor Swift. Although Katie's been both. <laughs> <laughs> Creating the symmetry we need for the liner. Look down. Then we are going to go back over it. Okay. We're going to go back over it with our liquid pen. Now we're going to apply a false lash because, yes, Taylor Swift wears false lashes. you need. You can take that same liquid marker, color the band, apply your glue, Round it out while it dries. And then lay it directly on. Since Katie is a professional false lash wearer, they just slip right into place on her. <laughs> I need something to make my glow back. Well, you can get, um, whatchamacallit, um, Is it Lila? Latisse. Latisse? Yeah, Where it's a prescription. It? Open and look down. Um, doctor prescription. Well, Lash will do it as well, but Latisse will do it even better. We've finished putting our false lash on, let it dry. Now I'm going to take, then this is what made this much, makes it a little bit different from Taylor. Usually she's done with her eyes. Um, in this video, we did do a little, she did have a little bit of shimmery gray underneath her eye. Look up for me. So I'm taking my number 13 brush, I'm just doing it right underneath, keeping it right at the lash line. You're almost doing it on top of the lashes, on their root, because you want to keep it really, really tight. And the reason why you're doing shimmery gray is it just gives it a bit of a shadow there without it looking like a distinctive color. Now we're going to mascara the bottom lashes. So we're going to mascara the bottom lashes.
And then we're going to take mascara and blend the top lashes into the bottom. Making sure to get the inside corners. Now, Taylor does not wear any cheek color, so we are not going to do any cheek color. Um, I will just do the tiniest hint of bronzer toward the back of her cheek, just for shaping. Completely optional. it out. So just very, very subtle. Now I moisturized Katie's lips before we started. I put moisturizer on them so it could start to be moisture, start to get uh, nice and moist. I'm going to blot off the excess. All right, you know me. Whenever I do a red lip, I love to, for it to be lined in burgundy to give it an edge. This look does not have that. It's a very sheer edge. So I'm going to line with a red lip liner. Filling in. Now we're going to go over that with a red lipstick, layering that red lipstick. And what I mean by that is we're going to first take and do a layer of red lipstick. So we apply a layer, we then blot, we'll then apply another layer. This is how we get that nice kind of stained matte look. Putting our second layer on, and then once again, just lightly blotting it. Now 
making it more matte, more like a stain. Okay, so this is a classic Taylor Swift look with a new twist from her red video. Um, I did a beige, a matte beige cream shadow on her lid, followed by a matte white over it. Then I did a matte beige on her brow bones so it was darker than her lid. Then I took a very pale matte taupe and put it right in her crease, followed underneath with a shimmery gray, pinky gray. That's new twist in her look. And then a red lip liner with a matte red lip for her lips. Um, I'm gonna take Katie back, we're gonna take her hair down, and we will look at it and see. <laughs> we'll look at it and see. Okay, we'll be right back.